Fabulous Firsties! It's me, Mrs. Corona, again with another really fun art lesson today. Today, we are going to be making artwork inspired by SEL, the social emotional learning that you have been talking about with your teacher. Before we get started, let's go ahead and say our art room mantra together to be really focused and get, be super creative and ready for another awesome art project. I am creative. I am empowered. I am focused. I am amazing. I am smart. I am an artist. Great job. Okay, let's get right into our art project. Today we're going to be making artwork inspired by social and emotional learning. And I know you've been talking about this a lot with your teacher. Maybe you think about this as how someone's feeling or those zones that we talk about sometimes, maybe the red zone, blue zone, green zone, yellow zone. Well, today we're going to make artwork inspired by that. First, let's take a second and reflect. How are you feeling? Maybe you're feeling really happy because it's an art day. Maybe you're a little bit sad because you miss your friends. Maybe you're angry because you didn't have the breakfast you wanted this morning. Or maybe you're just kind of calm and mellow and you're watching this in the morning or maybe after lunch, maybe you're a little sleepy. But let's think about how you are really feeling. When we talk about feelings and emotions, we can put those emotions almost in something called a mood meter. We can assign all of them a color. So for example, the yellow zone, which sometimes we talk about, is really happy and excited, um, joyful, kind of hyper almost. Those words would fall up here in this category. Or maybe you're very like calm, relaxed, and peaceful. Those kinds of feelings would fit in the green zone. Perhaps you're feeling nervous or anxious or kind of annoyed and angry or just really stressed about something. Those words would fall in the red zone. And maybe you're feeling a little bit sad or tired. You're just not really focused and into it right now. Um, that would be falling in the blue zone. Well, each one of these moods has a different facial expression that might correlate or that means go with um, how that person is feeling and so we talk about how we can assign colors to moods but we can also assign facial expressions to moods and that's what we're going to be doing today today you are going to be making a comic strip of yourself showing four different kinds of moods one from each zone so here are a few examples that other students have made and you'll see like this little boy right here, he looks kind of happy. So he's probably in the yellow, um, the yellow or green zone here. He's being really silly here. So he's probably in the yellow zone there. This one makes it look like he's really angry because he has steam blowing out of his ears. So he's probably in the red zone. And this one, he's closing his eyes. And I see these little Z's, which usually symbolize sleeping. He's probably in the blue zone right about there. Or let's look at um, this one right over here. This person looks kind of angry. It looks like her heart is broken. So that's probably the red zone. She looks very happy, kind of calm there. So that looks probably like a green zone picture. Uh-oh, she looks like she's feeling sick there, like she might throw up. That's probably the blue zone. I don't think I'd be feeling very good if I was feeling sick. And then she looks really excited and super duper happy over here. So that would be the yellow zone one. So you're going to go and you're going to pick four different moods, one from each color. So I'm going to give you a second, look at the mood meter right now, and just jot down or remember four different moods that you are feeling. I think mine are going to be blissful, which is in the yellow zone, maybe um, chill in the green zone. I'm going to do tired in the blue zone and worried in the red zone. So I want you to pick one from each zone, one feeling or emotion from each zone, and just jot it down or remember it. And the next step, what we're gonna do is I'm gonna teach you how to draw those four different emotions in a little comic strip. All right, for this project, you're gonna need a piece of white paper 
and a pencil. And the first thing we're going to do is we're going to actually cut off part of our paper. So what I want you to do is fold over the side. It could be in half. It doesn't have to be all the way in half. You're just going to fold over an edge to make a nice straight line. And then you're going to cut your paper. Since we're not using the whole thing, we're just making a comic strip today. Cut on that fold line. And then, so I'm going to put this one to the side. I don't need that anymore. I'm going to take this long comic strip and I'm going to turn it into four smaller pieces. So I'm going to fold it in half once, the long way. And then I'm going to fold it in half again, this way. So now I have like a little book, a little accordion book. There we go. If you want to cut that, you absolutely may. There's one piece. There's my second piece. I'm just cutting out my little rectangles. If you want to leave it all together, that's fine too. All right, so I got all my little pieces. All right, I'm going to use this as my protector paper because I wrote down my four words that I wanted to do. So I will use those to kind of look at. All right, and I want you guys to use a pencil, but I'm going to use a marker so it shows up so that you can see what I am doing. All right, the first thing we have to do on all four of them is make a border and so that means you're just going to outline the edge some sort of way i'm making like a little rectangle around mine and then i might make a little bumpy line sort of like you're making a picture frame so you're going to make four little picture frames one on each of those little papers that you cut now if you didn't cut yours apart you're just going to make four little picture frames one in each little square there's one and they can be the same if you want or they can be different All right so go ahead and make your picture frames first All right, and there we go. So now I have four different picture frames. And what you're going to do is in each picture frame, you are going to make a small little portrait of a person or yourself showing each different emotion. So the word I picked for the yellow zone was blissful, which means um, happy, content. So you're going to start by drawing the shape of a head, which we know is a circle or an oval. And I'm going to give it a neck. And the shoulders are going to go to the edge of the paper. This is going to be the same probably for all of your um, portraits that you do. And what's going to change is the emotion on the face. So I know I need to make some eyes. And if I was feeling very blissful, that means pretty happy and content, I might make some hearts for eyes here. And I can color those in. I know I need a little nose. And then if I was feeling blissful, I would be super excited. So I might make a really big smile with these big giant teeth. And give myself some ears and then I'm going to add my hair my hair when I wear it down is really curly so I'm gonna make some super super curly hair and so you're doing this with pencil if you want to add color to it you absolutely may um, let's see I'm gonna put some hearts on my shirt too just to decorate my shirt so it's not a big blank space but if you want to add crayons or color or markers or whatever you want to do, I'm just going to do mine in black and white for now. I'm going to make a big bow in my hair too. There we go. I'm feeling very blissful in this one. And you're going to do this for all four of your emotions. Let's see, my green emotion was pretty chill. So I'm going to start with a little for my head, my neck, my shoulders to the edge. Let's see, if I'm feeling pretty chill, my eyes might look sort of like this. I might just have like a side smile because I'm pretty happy. Kind of like that. And then I'm going to add the bangs to my hair. And this time I'm going to make my hair just kind of like wavy and long on each side. Maybe I'll make some little polka dots in the background for this one. So I want you to think about how the, your face will change with each emotion. Okay, I'm going to do my worried one. I wonder what you guys are doing, what emotions you are. I can't wait to see these when you post them to Artsonia.
All right, and so I want you guys to take some time and finish up your four different emotions, one for each zone color. And here's a picture of that mood meter again, in case you need to think about which mood you wanna do again. And then the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna glue these to our paper. So any color background paper you want, I'm just gonna use black, but if you have a favorite color, you can do that. You're gonna fold your paper. Make sure it's folded a little bit bigger, a little bit wider. I'm going to fold this a little bit more. There we go. Just so it's a little bit bigger than your um, emotion comic strip pieces that you made. And then I'm going to cut that right here. And then you can place these. Let's see. One, two, three. Mine are going to go like this. They're going to be a little bit zigzaggy, but you can put yours all in a row if you want. It's totally up to you. You know what? I'm going to make them. I think that looks a little bit better, and I will cut some of this off a little bit. And all you're going to do to glue them, mine are going sideways. Maybe yours would go vertical. Whatever you have room for, however you can make that work. You might have to glue two pieces of background paper together. I don't know. And all you do is put some glue, like with a glue stick, on the back of each one, line them up, glue them on. So now it's going to look like a little comic strip. Have you ever seen um, when they have really old movies and they had to use film rolls? This is sort of what, what it would look like. Or in the newspaper, how they have a comic strip with little cartoons and pictures all side by side to tell a story. That's sort of what we're doing today. We're making a comic strip of emotions. Hey, my fabulous firsties. I hope you guys had so much fun making that social emotional learning inspired artwork and comic strip. When you are done, go ahead and take a picture and post it to Artsonia. And then in the artist statement part, if you could list each one of those emotions that you used in, in your artwork. So for example, I, I wrote, I would write blissful, tired, calm, and worried, because those were my four emotions. Remember, you had to pick four, one from each color of the mood meter. All right, I can't wait to see your amazing artwork, and until next time, happy art making. Bye, fabulous firsties.